Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, we're going to look at Find and Replace. On the right hand side of the Home tab, I've selected the Home tab, you find Find and Replace. So this is what I'm going to click on, Replace. The box comes up there, so the first part of the box is just Find, second part is Replace, third part is Go To. So Replace. So the example I want to do first of all is find the word Microsoft in this document. So I'll type Microsoft at the top and replace it with the word Lotus down the bottom there. Now the temptation is to go replace all, but that can be quite dangerous because you could end up putting a word inside a word that shouldn't be there. In this example, that would be okay because these are names, so that would probably work, but still I want to do it like this. I'm going to click on replace first. It goes to the first occurrence of Microsoft. Now let's say in this example I don't want to replace that one. I can just ignore that and go find next. Finds the next occurrence of Microsoft. So this one I can replace and now I can click through the document, click in replace or if I didn't want to replace that one I would go find next but I do want to replace that one and that will finish this one off. Click OK to that. Now, if I type the word the and replace it with the word that and do click replace all, let's see what happens. I've made 16 replacements, but if I move my little box, you can see that right there it has placed the word that inside the word there. It's done it again there, and no doubt there are a few other mistakes further down. And now that would be a, a problem in itself trying to correct that. Now I know we haven't saved this, so we've got undo at the moment, so that would be okay, but just be careful about clicking replace all. Now let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at finding the word office and changing it to the word room, but this time. I'm going to click on more because I have more options and what I would like to do is change it to a different font and a different color. So I'm going to click back on there because in my experience sometimes when you click this button it jumps back up to the top option. So I'm just double checking that I'm on this one. Then format, font and I can change this to let's say 24 and red. Okay to that. Oh, didn't get the colour. Red. Okay to that. And then I will go in this example replace all, but you can see the format there. Replace all. 14 replacements. Click OK. So you can see how that works. Now next one. I'm going to type the word specialist and replace it with expert. But I've got to get rid of this. This is a legacy from the previous one. So no formatting is what I need to do for that. And then again, you're going back into format font. And this time I'll pick a blue color and underline, double underline and pick a different font size 20 so that's what it's going to do click ok there's the information replace ok so you can see it in there so that's basically how find and replace works the key to all of this is making sure that you clear off any legacy formatting before you do the next one so last one just one more time program um, change that to event and do the format font you've also also got these options you could use but I'll stick to font for this and I'll pick a different color amber bold and let's make it quite large 36 okay replace all it's done seven replacements click OK and then when you're finished, you can delete these out. You don't even have to delete it out really. Clear the formatting, close the box. Now, 
what I want to do in the rest of this session is just basically reset this um, back down to normal font so I'm going to select control and then a to select the whole document and then control, control and spacebar to put the document back to the default font now it hasn't changed the the actual words that I changed but it's put the font back to Times New Roman 12 point so the next little bit in this session is going to be borders and shading so first of all I'm clicking into this first paragraph and I want to select an outside border or all border either would work all borders and then this one gets a border and then to the left of that a color a shading color like so next one let's select a right border and let's just highlight some of the text and pick a different color to shade next one let's do a bottom border and let's make the whole thing shade and then coming down into this next paragraph I want to do something slightly different so I am going into borders and shading at the bottom to this box so I could use this box to create exactly the same there's the border or I've got a shadow option a 3d option I've got color options for the lines so let's go for red and line thickness let's pick a thick line so it stands out so you can see it there now you've got paragraph option there you've got options on that paragraph so you can basically move it from the text so if I just show you this works so it's moving the border away from the text you can do the left right as well click OK to that click OK again and you can see that coming on there now big thick line now next paragraph if I go back into borders and shading you've got a page border which has exactly the same things box for the whole page but in addition to these styles down this left hand side you also have these options under this heading at the very bottom now there are quite a few different options in there and as you get further down these look like certificate edges um, quite a long way down actually so these ones go back up a bit if I click on that one that's more like a, a an attendance certificate you can do click OK and then you get that going on the page that's the page border and paragraph borders now if I do control A and control spacebar now nothing happens to the text because I didn't change the text but to reset the paragraphs the key command is control Q and that should take all the borders off the paragraphs and all the shading so that's reset the paragraphs the page border is not part of that process so that's stayed on to remove the page border I need to go back into borders and shading back onto page border and take this off none and none and then OK and that is off so just to have a little play with this let's see if we can do something with this document so there is a right indent marker which I'm just going to move into say 14 in fact before I do that I need to highlight the whole document so let's just highlight the whole document so pull that to 14 make it justified and now a right border down the right hand side like so there's the right border so I've used justification I could put a numbered list on there and you see you're getting a multiple set of features there's the hanging indent for the numbered list the first line indent is the numbers and then the body of the text is hanging off you've got a right indent over there and you've got a right border with some space to write or sign to say you've read that information so that's the end of this session guys I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one